time though. Hello guys, welcome to another wonderful episode again. All road leads to Morocco. CAF announced the official date of the next AFCON, 21st December 2025 to January 18, 2026. Wow, this is not the usual date we used to know, but well, let's hear what our top analyst has to say about this. Now, welcome to the channel. Final, which is where everything about sport, football is going to inorganic from, from, from analysis to reaction to and even Niger update will bring out to you. Now, let's hear what our guys have to say about this upcoming AFCON. Official la. Ah, <laughs> Good so, that's why I was again. Officially, like, unlike the usual date that we used to play the AFCON, yes. CAF has adjusted the date again due to their own reason. What is your take on this adjustment, officially? Like? Well, it will affect things, but okay. I think they, I think everything is due to planning. Yeah. Probably they have checked the other, uh, cal other competitions calendar and they yeah. see that that's the best time fitting. Yeah. This is a competition normally that they play between January to yeah. February yeah. in the calendar year. Yeah. They don't split it within years now. Exactly. But uh, I don't know if it's because of the time zone probably and everything <laughs> yeah. uh i think it will affect a lot of things yeah. because uh afcon is a major criteria of other clubs signing african players african in the players. first day because yeah. uh the the avail availability during that uh, january and february used to yeah. affect yeah. their clubs yeah. you understand but now it's going to affect a lot of things because yeah. looking at uh leaks that don't go on break yeah. festive period december it is premier league yeah. alone yeah. that don't go on break yeah. la liga goes on break december so it doesn't even affect them at all. I think what La Liga will welcome the idea welcome because the it doesn't affect them. They won't break. Likewise, the exactly, Modest Liga will break. Italian Serie A too. I break the time. It's only Premier League Italian. that don't go on festive break for December. Yeah. You understand? So I'm looking at the whole loss of names that will affect uh, their clubs. Look at Chelsea, for example, that they have Nicolas Jackson and other African, African players. players yeah. You look at uh, Arsenal with Partey still there. I don't know if he's yeah. going to leave at the end of the summer. Yeah. He's a very important player. You see what he did after he came out from injury for them. Yeah. You look at Nottingham Forest exactly. yeah, with the likes of Ola you know, yeah. and the rest. You look at so a whole lot of names. Yeah. So I don't. I'm looking at this hindering some kind of transfer safe. Yeah. You understand this uh, summers that we're entering because other clubs will be weighing in. Okay, if you're not going to be available January, uh, December and January, yeah. that is. And this is between December and January. We're looking at about. Seven, eight fixtures yeah. happening. Yeah. You know, the way they play December fixtures now, exactly. they play a match in every two yeah. or three days. Yeah. You understand? That? Those are arguably 15 points or 18 points to fight for. Yeah. And if what if you are part of the most important player in yeah. that squad? Yeah. You understand? So it's going to affect a lot of things. But let's see how it pans out. But officially, on the on the bright side, CAF know the best reason why they are just said this date. But if other leagues are going to be on break in that period, that means only Premier League uh, players will be affected. Don't you think it's a nice idea for other leagues to be at rest so that African players that are played in different leagues can go and present their country? I I think uh, there has been there has been lobbying around the Premier League before. Yeah. Because them. we used to we used to see during that January February players used to leave their uh, their various club to go and play the Afcom and then it affects a lot of team performance. Yeah, generally, but yes, but now it's only really affecting. But now it's only really affecting Premier League. So yeah. I think it's still on the bright side. It's, it's on the bright side. That's yeah. what I'm saying that there are criteria that they looked into. Yeah. Before actually announcing that date, okay. I'm looking at time zone in Morocco. Yeah. Might be a factor. Yeah. You understand? But we never know. The point is, I just feel that there are, there are brilliant heads that sat down together and concluded that okay, that's the best time to fix it. Yeah. Like you rightfully say, it's only the Premier League going to be affected. Yes. You understand? Yeah. Because if you look at the dates from January, from December 21st to 18th yeah. January, yeah. just three weeks. Yeah. Three weeks within yeah. there. I think the breaks of uh, of La Liga and the uh, Modest Liga is, I think, is about 10 days. Yeah before their next yeah, issue, you understand? So yeah. it's still winning it's the like balance. The exactly the point now. So let's just say, let's just look forward to a wonderful, wonderful tournament. tournament. <laughs> you understand? Regardless of <laughs> whatever goes on. The last, and one, the last one was amazing, if I must say. Yeah, yeah, it was the a top one. Yeah. Our own darling Nigeria yeah. went to, yeah. to the final. final. Yeah. We we lost. It was a good, it was a good yeah. tournament yeah. for us. So like I'm, like I'm saying, if if it is well planned for, yeah. You understand the, uh, the AFCON. And let's not mind, it's a knockout football after the group stage after and group everything. Stage, so yeah. Any player that drops out will still come to your, come to your club team. and play. So regardless, they must still miss players. players so I'm yeah. just hoping it doesn't affect the transfers of some kind of key players. Yeah, Look yeah. at players like Osime that is being linked with Arsenal now. Exactly. Arsenal might be looking at that announcement like, so are we going to lose this guy yeah, for like three to four yeah. matches? Yeah. What if those three to four matches are matches that are playing against very, Manchester City or Liverpool? Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So I feel it's going to be it's going to be a process yeah. and i just hope it doesn't affect the transfers yeah. of some major key players yeah. it's, it's, it's still a nice one but those major key players you're talking about 
are still few, limited, limited. They are not, they are not, they are not much. If I must say, but on the other side, what do you think is the major reason why Afcon made this adjustment? That's what I'm saying now. You know, the calendar has already like matters. The calendar already scatter yeah. right from the Corona time. Yeah, you understand from yeah. the Euros. The Euros change their dates too. The World Cup, you understand? We play World Cup 2024, right? Yes, and we're playing 26. Yes, yeah. And normally, World Cup is four years, oh, four years since yeah. we play 20, it's supposed to be 2028. 20, yeah, you understand? Even when we play 2020, 2020, is it 2024, 2022? Yeah. It was not that time, but the corona messed up a whole lot of things, and they're trying to adjust. Yeah. So, with time, we'll still get back to the official year we used yeah. to run it because Heroes is after two years, yeah. half country is after two, two years. Yeah. It is World Cup that's after four years. Yeah. Even there was a time, I remember there was a time Copa America hosted about two. Copa America Copa in ba- yeah, back, back to back, back yeah. you understand? <laughs> Which whereas it was normally two years, two years people yeah. were clamoring that it was because of Messi that yeah. time that they are just <laughs> loving for him to win. But that's by yeah. the way. So I feel that, like I said, yeah. brilliant mind sat down and they and made and decision. yes, they made decision that okay, this and that we are lacking behind is yeah. a tournament we need to host, yeah. and they feel yeah. that okay, December to January it is the best time. On the on the brighter side is we supporters. You understand? We are looking yeah. that our festival won't be a boring one. Exactly. 25. It's just an entertainment for us. We have, <laughs> we, have yes, we have a lot to discuss. Yes, we have a lot to discuss. We are spending yeah. time with the family. We have yeah. a lot of a lot of things to watch, to yeah. discuss, and to pen upon. And yeah. I feel it to be a great tournament. We are looking. Also, we are also looking forward to the qualifiers uh, September, September uh, as yeah. Nigeria as our own, yeah. so that they uh, can qualify and be part of it. Because I saw some seniors in Morocco, okay. and they are doing very well very to well. organize to make sure that that tournament is going to be. A, it's going to be it's a lovely one, and lively yeah. one for us. So I wish Morocco the best, mm-hmm. and I wish uh, Calf the best, yeah. and I hope that they give us nothing but the, but best, the best, so that while we are sitting at home December enjoying time with our family, oh, you understand? We also enjoy we also, exactly <laughs> the point. Now. Like I said, African football has, has actually <laughs> both, yeah. it's a tournament that we're all looking forward to. Yeah. We're not looking, uh, we're not. It's not the kind of football that they will launch out, yeah, exactly. Buga, all those things. Bam, outside bam, exactly now, so like we see players putting ball on the ground. We see great players coming. Yeah. The likes of Brian Diaz coming to Africa now, coming yeah. to Morocco, yeah. you understand? So like, that's where it comes in, where we are clamoring for bigger names to play in the half yeah. So FT, I feel it's going to be a good tournament, and I wish yeah. CAF nothing but the best in the organization. All right, thank you so much, Fisher. Yes, Alliance. Thank you so much. Yes. Because you give me your best and nothing but the best. Yes, of course. Now, this is your reason, best reason known to the, to the CAF, why they decide on that date. We just hope that they give us a very wonderful festive period, an entertaining moment for us too. We wish Morocco nothing but the best and let's see how the AFCON is going to turn out. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let's know what you feel about this adjusted date in the comment section. And don't forget to follow the talk at the Twitter handle at final whistle 931. We'll see you again next time. Thank you.